Hi, this is Elena from Merrick Looms, and today I want to talk to you about some differences between a Merrick Loom and a basic frame loom. The first thing that I want to talk about is tension. Now, on a frame loom, you usually don't have a tensioning device. This means that when you warp the loom, the warp is as tight as it is going to be. Now there's some little tricks to get around that. You can kind of stick something into the warps to tighten up your tension a little bit. Um, but generally, you're not going to get much tighter warp than what you initially put on the loom. On a Mirax loom, we have a tensioning device, which means you can warp the loom as loosely as you need. Um, and then you just turn the wing nuts on either side of the loom, and this tightens your tension. So not only after you finish warping can you tighten your tension, but as you're weaving, if you find your tension is looser or tighter than you want it to be, you can adjust your tension. This is something that's incredibly important um, when you're weaving, and it really, really helps to make a quality piece um, knowing and being able to have very tight tension. The next thing that I'm going to talk to you about is warp spacing. Now, on most basic frame looms, you have a set um, warp spacing. So you have pegs or notches that are a certain distance apart. Um, now you can warp every notch or you can warp every other, so there's a little bit of um, variety there. Um, but in a Merix loom, we have warp coils, which are springs that go on the top and sometimes bottom of the loom. Um, these warp coils basically allow you to space your warp um, in tons and tons of different ways. Now, this is important because you want to space your warp differently depending on a lot of different factors, like what weft and what warp you are using. Um, so, once you get into uh, using different fibers and different weights of fibers, um, this becomes really, really important. The next thing I want to talk to you about is continuous warping. Now, on a Merrick loom, you will see that the warp actually goes all the way around the loom. What this means is that you can weave all the way up the front of the loom, and then you can just loosen your tension. So I'm gonna do that right here. Loosen that tension right up. Pretend you have a piece on the front of the loom. And then you can take this bar in the back of the loom right here and move it up the back of your loom. And what this does is it rotates your piece to the back of the loom so you have more blank warp on the front of the loom. Basically what this means is that you can weave a piece that is actually longer than the length of your loom, which is really great. Um, on most frame looms, um, this is either difficult to do or you are just warping on one plane, so you can't do that. Um, so that's a huge advantage because it really allows you to be flexible in the size of the piece that you're making. The next thing I want to talk about is the Murex shutting device. This is the shutting device. Basically what this does is it goes on the front of your loom, right here in these clips, and on the top of the shutting device you attach half of your warp threads, and on the bottom you attach the other half of your warp threads. You do this with heddles, which you can either make yourself um, or you can buy from us. They're basically just little circles of material, of string. Um, and once you have attached the shutting device to your warp, when you move your shutting device down or up on your loom, uh, it lifts up half of your warp threads, a different half, depending where you move the shutting device. And what this allows you to do is instead of on a basic frame loom, how you need to go under, over, under, over, under, over when you're weaving. On a Merrick's, you can just bring your weft right through those raised and lowered warp threads. So it makes weaving go much faster. It makes it easier. Um, and I think it makes it 
uh, really fun because you can you can do that when you want to. You can also put your shedding device in a neutral position and you can weave in the traditional manner for sections if you want to do that too. The other thing that I want to talk about um, that is a real advantage that Merrick's looms have over basic looms um, is all the accessories we have available. We have a loom stand, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. It's a sitting standing loom stand, so you can actually move the loom um, on different positions. You can stand at your loom or you can sit at your loom. Um, we have an electric power treadle, which actually attaches to the shedding device and allows you to change the shed um, with a foot pedal. Uh, so that's actually incredibly convenient and really fun to use. Um, we also have uh, some basic accessories like the extra warping bar kit, um, which actually allows you to have two bars on the back of the loom um, so you can save warp if you are weaving a smaller piece on a larger loom. So Merrick's looms, um, come in a variety of sizes from 5 inches wide to 38 inches wide. Um, and if you're using one of the larger looms but you just want to make a small piece, it's really helpful to have something like the extra warping bar kit uh, just so you're not wasting any warp. Um, we also have a bottom spring kit which puts a warp coil on the bottom of your loom which can help you organize your warp threads a little bit better. Uh, that's especially helpful for um, tapestry done at finer sets. So with your warp threads uh, closer together. Um, we also have um, shedding devices. You can actually use two shedding devices on one loom. So you can get an extra shedding device uh, and you can do fun things like twill um, or basket weave um, using the shedding device. Um, so that's, that's really neat. Um, and we have, we have a few more. Um, Accessories that kind of help out uh, if you're going to be making specific pieces. Another example, we have loom extenders. Uh, so for some of our smaller looms, you can actually put extenders on so you can make a piece um, even larger than what you can normally make on that loom. Um, so yeah, that's, that's another advantage. You, know, you have a lot of flexibility when you have a Merrick's loom. Um, so you know you can buy one loom and do a lot of different really neat stuff on it. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, we are always here to answer questions about our looms um, or questions about weaving on our looms if you already have one. Um, you can reach me directly at Elena, E-L-E-N-A, at MirixLooms.com and I will help you out. Thanks for watching.